Yeah, what's up? What's going on? This is 10 Things with Saz on One Music. Keep it locked. First of all, I'm left-handed. I don't know many people know that. Um, now the world knows. <laughs> and also, um, secondly, I. Always sneeze when I wake up. Weird, huh? <laughs> but I do that a lot. Like anytime I wake up, I sneeze. That's how my mom even knows I'm not awake. Celebrity crush. It changes from time to time because you notice know, people get old and you know they don't. They're not so hot anymore. So um, right now, I'd say Eva Mendes. Mm. Yeah. Eva Mendes, man. Yes. Sex, drugs, party, what's your weakness? Oh, you rappers. I'm not addicted to anything like that. It's not a weakness for me. <laughs> I get involved, but I'm not hooked. Alright, cool. So, what's the craziest thing you've ever done? The craziest thing I've ever done. Um, I locked my friend and. <laughs> I locked my friend up somewhere in the house for like eight hours and everyone was looking for him and I was looking for him with them. And when I got him out, I was like, don't try me your life. Stupid boy. <laughs> Scary. Okay, so what's weird That was a long time ago, by the way. I don't do that anymore. I don't do that anymore. I'm, I'm calm and collected now. I'm a producer. You know, I have to be calm. Yeah. Okay, so what's the weirdest song on your playlist? Weirdest song on my playlist. Hmm. Because it's so weird, I don't know what it's called. <laughs> really, I don't know. It's just really weird. I don't know what it's called. Maybe I'll check out maybe next episode, hopefully. I'll let you guys know. Okay, so if it wasn't ethically wrong, what is the one thing you do right now? Probably bank, kill someone. Um, Hmm. I'll probably spank every girl's ass I see. Right now. It's not wrong to do. <laughs> if I could have three superpowers in life, first of all, with the power to read minds, also um, the power to conjure genes so I could make wishes. And also, um, Hmm. Um, if I can read minds, I'm sure I can tell the future. And if you can tell the future, that'll be boring. You know, I'm just going to leave space for the third one. I'll figure that out. What would you describe as your most embarrassing moment? Huh? That was so embarrassing. Um. Um, there was this day, this was when I started producing, like 2007, 2008 or so. Um, this very, 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 very popular artist, I don't want to mention names because it can get me into trouble, came to the studio and he heard me making stuff. And he was like, okay, and I was, I was starstruck. I was like, oh, yeah, the studio, this so so called person is in the studio, like, man, I'm going to work with you, blah, 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 blah. And he was like, okay. <laughs> that he wants me to make a beat for him and the beat has to be ready the next day and he went to the booth and said he has a sample I should work with and he just did something that didn't make sense and I was trying to make sense out of it and I walked my ass out day <laughs> all night trying to get that beat right and I tried and I did something and he never showed up again <laughs> After all the hard work of rubbish, just imagine someone says she do. They make a bit like doom. Do 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 do. Mom. Do do do. And I tried. I made it work. <laughs> that was so embarrassing for me. I swear, that was so embarrassing. When, like, he didn't show up again and they were like, 
guy has moved on. He doesn't even care about you. <laughs> anyway. If a guy um, grabs your ass in public, so that right. If a guy grabs your ass in public, 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 not like 10 people in a place, public, public, public. <clears throat> how a guy would you grabs react? my ass in public. Hmm. Okay. Usually when I go out, I'm always with Yomi. You don't know who Yomi is, so I just, I just tell Yomi, like yo. Yomi is always my dad. You know, I don't have to do anything. <laughs> and also, um, I'm not the boxer guy, I'm a briefs guy because I like to bulge, you know. Anyway, thank you.